what we have here is a frame of drone brood and we're uncapping a few of the capped larva capped pupae and we are looking to see if we get any varroa mites rolling out of them so far this frame looks very clean I'm also pulling a few of the larva out like this you can see he, this larva this sorry this pupa has no varroa on it whatsoever we're not seeing any of the varroa coming out of the cells like you often see in a heavily infested thing so these are Russian bees we picked up in 2015 they're staying calm and brand new cycle of drone brood with no varroa that we can detect yet very nice maybe when this frame gets capped off we might take it out and uh, freeze it this is by the way this is a natural drone frame so we started with a starter strip here and no foundation whatsoever so all of this is natural comb and they've made a lot of it with drone brood almost 90 percent of this is drone brood see any crawling out. It doesn't make a whole lot. We did find one dead varroa on the outside of these things, so the bees have been grooming some of the varroa. I wonder if that's why there's open cells in the middle of the... There's a varroa, there's right, a there. varroa right there. You won't be able to see it, but if you look down inside of this cell right there, there's Varroa crawling on the bottom of that cell. Mm -hmm. one I just opened up drone brood three little mites were crawling out of it that one has a mite right to the side of it What I'm using to get in here to give you an idea of the size is a paper clip. That ought to give you realistic. You can see the mites down beside this one below the paper clip. Evil little bastards. This is some drone brood I cut out of a winter rim that basically wasn't going to allow the box to stay the way it was, so I removed the rental rim, cut out this burr comb. It was full of drone brood, some honey, and actually some uh, eggs and some other. I thought I'd check to see the drone brood to see if I had mites. As you can see, I have mites. These hives have never been treated with anything. 
and uh, those little boogers are there. I've never done a check to see how many. Look at that. Very few do I open that it might doesn't just crawl out. This is a hive that is very strong. One of my best performing queens that we breed a lot. And we're gonna probably have to reconsider our treatment. I've always been treatment free and I've never wanted to do it, but uh, wow, this is kind of shocking, especially in March. The mite loads in this hive. You can just see mites are everywhere from where I've opened up these cells. Let's open up this big fat one right here. Right there. I'm in trouble drawing the brood out. <laughs> 